Why farmers are using the DJI Agras T10 don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, David here from Aerial Influence. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we wanted to talk a little bit about why we've seen such a big interest, A, in terms of agriculture in general, uh, with the DJI Agras T10, the T30, um, the P4 multispectral. Um, there are several drones, and I'm sure that you know next year we'll probably get another batch of drones as well. But one of the drones that we've seen a big interest in has been the DJI Agras T10, and we think we've got some reasons why. So we wanted to go through that list. Here we go. First up is that it's relatively small. Well, in terms of agriculture drones, that is all of these drones are really big. Our biggest one that we have is the DJI Agras T30, but something as big as a T30 may not be for everyone. So this T10, I think you're gonna see, has a lot of positives over the T30. Next up is that it's easy to fly. Now, I promise you, I promise you, if you can fly a DJI, Mini, or any of the other drones that are in DJI's consumer line, uh, the Mini, the Mavic, uh, the Air 2S, the Air, if you can fly those drones already, you can fly one of these agricultural drones, including the T10. It's bigger, it's a lot scarier to fly, but all the controls are exactly the same, front, forward, left, right. Everything is exactly the same, and you're gonna pick up this drone really, really quickly. Next up is autonomy. Now these drones can be as autonomous as you want them to be if you want them to be autonomous. You can set up your fields by going on like a Google Maps type interface. You touch four corners and then adjust from there. The drone is gonna come up with its own path and it's gonna start flying. If it runs out of battery or runs out of pesticide, it comes back to you, you refill, it goes right back to where it left off. Uh, so that's a pretty cool feature as well. It'll go back to where it left off and then continue spraying. Next on the list is that it's got an eight liter tank. The American version has an eight liter tank. Now that might not sound like a lot, but if you're spot spraying, it can actually go a long way. That eight liter tank might surprise you. Next up is that DJI says it can cover 15 acres an hour. Now, that's probably like absolutely in ideal conditions and you are swapping batteries, you've got a whole operation going on and you're like a machine. I think realistically, you're looking at more something like 10 to 12 acres an hour, but still that's a good amount of acreage. If you've got a small farm, if you wanted to go out and, and farm your, your 10 acres and use a drone to do that, you could, you could do that with the DJI Agras T10. Next up is that the DJI Agras T10 is waterproof. You can spray it down to clean it off. That's a really great thing. You don't have to worry about like taking things off and cleaning it by hand or anything like that. You can literally just spray it down. Moving on, it's got replaceable nozzles. So T-Jet nozzles can go on this drone. Uh, and there are other parts that are, are replaceable, the arms, that kind of thing. Uh, that's what dealers like us are here for. You come to us when something breaks and we help you fix it. Next up is the drone has a variable spray rate. So depending on what you're spraying and depending on what kind of pesticide you're spraying, you can change the spray rate or even the speed of the drone uh, to get the desired spray rate that you're looking for. Next up, and this is a big one, the Agras T10 has replaceable tanks. So you can get as many tanks as you want and have them ready to go with whatever pesticide or herbicide or whatever you're putting in them. Uh, you could have those ready to go. So drone comes back, battery out, tank out, new battery in, new tank in, you're up in the air and ready to fly. The drone is gonna go right back to where it left off. Now this is another one that's a big one, but it is under 55 pounds. The DJI Agras T10 is under 55 pounds. The Agras T30 is gonna be over 55 pounds. Why does that matter? 
Well, under 55 pounds, you're still considered a small UAS. You go up over 55 pounds, you're just considered a UAS. So that's something to think about because when you go to get your part 137 exemption, uh, it's much harder to get that exemption if you're above 55 pounds. If you're under 55 pounds, like the T10, uh, it's gonna be a lot easier to get that part 137 exemption, but it's still gonna take months and months. You still have to submit lots and lots of paperwork to the FAA. They take you know a relatively long time to then turn it around. You're gonna need a lawyer, all sorts of stuff. That is something that we provide. We help you get that part 137 certification uh, so that you don't have to go through a lot of it. We've got our own lawyers we work with and we've got our part 137 over uh, 55 and under 55. Uh, so we know what we're doing when it comes to submitting this paperwork. Next up, this drone has arm clamps. Again, I repeat, the drone has arm clamps. That makes it awesome because you can just clamp those arms down of a click and you know that you're ready to fly. And if you don't click one of them, the drone is gonna tell you that one of the arms is not clamped. On previous versions of agricultural drones, you had to screw in the arms and there was no indication as to whether you had done it or not. So if you forgot to, to lock one of the arms by screwing it in, uh, you know, you were in big trouble once the drone goes up in the air. And finally, this is just a good starter drone if you're looking to get into drones for agriculture. Uh, the Agras T10, it has so many features. It's got more than even what I had mentioned in this video. But if you're just thinking about getting into agricultural drones and you wanna dip your toe in the water, now these drones are not cheap, but I do think this is a good drone to just get started with it. You're gonna see the benefits of these drones immediately and you're gonna help start your business or increase the business that you have now. All right, everybody, that's all I got for today. We really appreciate you stopping by. We hope you hit like, we hope you hit subscribe. Down in the description, we've got contact information uh, for my business partner, Michael and myself our company, Aerial Influence. So if you've got questions or comments or anything, please shoot us an email, give us a call. We're happy to talk to you and answer any of the questions you have. We'll see you next time.